And then back in our displacement head, uh, in ZBrush, I have uh, six subdivision levels. So subdivision level six has my highest detail that I want. And then here's subdivision level one. Now, generally speaking, when I make a displacement map, uh, I might do two. I might do a displacement map for my primary and secondary forms, and then a second one for like my high frequency details, and then I'll combine those displacement maps later to have a little bit more control. Uh, in this one, I'm just going this subdivision level, subdivision level one with almost no detail. I want to eventually have this applied to that object just as a map. Oh, and I suppose I should mention, uh, you can also go in here in ZBrush. I'm gonna go in here to my Z plugin menu, drag it over to the left, go in here to UV master, say work on clone. So now that I'm in this scene, uh, it's all one polygroup right now. We do have X symmetry turned on. So if I wanted to, I can hold down Alt or go to my Z model brush, BZM, hold down Alt, start painting, let go of Alt and just keep tapping Alt to get new polygroups uh, as I paint. So I can create new polygroups here. I can create a new polygroup here. And that's basically gonna tell ZBrush where I want my UV cuts to occur. And then I can go through here, just grab these ones, do Control Shift S or hold down control shift. We'll go in here to control shift, select lasso. We'll grab these polygons, do control shift X to expand, control W to make that nose its own polygroup. So now I have symmetry. This is symmetrical across the X axis. So symmetry on, polygroups on, hit unwrap and then hit flatten. And there you go. There's some UVs and these will work just fine. So you can say unflatten, you can copy these UVs, go back to the model you're working on and you can hit paste UVs. Uh, when you go down here to say, texture map you can go down here to create and you can just say new from poly paint and now if you weren't if you're new to zbrush let me go ahead and do that again let's turn our texture map off here and in fact we can go here to texture off completely uh, up here we have a paintbrush icon and if we turn off polyframe you're going to see we have a poly paint a poly paint is literally just vertex color so you can go in here to any brush say your standard brush turn on rgb turn off z add you can go in here you can paint on the object and it's all resolution based because you're literally vertex painting on your object. So each one of these verts is gonna hold RGB information, which you can then go down here to your texture map and say, create new from poly paint. It's gonna take your vertex color and transfer that to your UVs and export that as a texture. So let's go ahead and get rid of his red unibrow there. We'll go back here to texture map, new from poly paint. If we wanna export this out of ZBrush, just go over here to clone texture. That'll put it over here. You can either say, Go to the texture palette and say texture export, or you can go up here to the texture menu and with that texture selected, go in here to export. I'm gonna drop this uh, right on my desktop as a PNG, we'll call it head color. And if you ever go in here to poly paint and turn off colorize, or you go in here and you turn off the paintbrush so your poly paint disappears and it's still on, that means that your texture map is on. So if you don't want this on, just go ahead and turn texture off. And now when you turn colorize or the poly, the paintbrush icon on and off, your poly paint will show up on your object or not. So that's how to get a color map out here. Let's talk about how to get a displacement, displacement map. Uh, how I'm gonna do that is I got the head selected. I'm gonna go down here. Uh, one way you could do it, I should say, is down here to displacement map. And if you're wondering about size, go into UV map and you can change your UV map size. And then when you go in here and create your maps, that'll update these map sizes to whatever size you chose in your UV map size. Uh, to create a displacement map, you can go through here. You can say, okay, I want a 32-bit displacement, smooth my UVs, uh, adaptive if you want more of your high frequency details to be more accurate. In this case, there's no high frequency details. So I don't really care about that. Uh, and then you can just hit create displacement map. It's gonna say, hey, you can't be on the highest subdivision level to do that. So you can tell it, uh, if you wanted to, you can go down to subdivision level three and create a displacement map from there, from three to six, and then create another one from one to three. Uh, in this case, we're gonna go displacement map for this really low res object to make it look like this with a displacement map applied. So subdivision level one, go down here and you can hit create displacement map, and there you go, there's a displacement map. Now this is a 16-bit displacement map, even though I told it 32-bit, just to make sure, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop out of this displacement sub menu and I'm gonna go in here to again Z plugin multi-map exporter and in here you can export displacements normals our texture from poly paint which we did earlier any number of these things but I'm gonna have displacement turned on I'm gonna go down here to export options open up displacement map we got our map size set to 2048 smooth UV let's go ahead and turn on 32 bit let's make it an EXR when I go up here to create all maps and again, I'm just gonna throw this on my desktop. Head displacement one EXR is fine. Let's go ahead and save it. Takes six seconds to make it. 
and let's go ahead and hop into Cinema 4D. A uh, real easy way to do that, first I'm gonna go in here to Texture and turn all this stuff off. It will, if you if you have textures loaded in here, it'll send it over Cinema 4D. I wanna make sure that I'm the one bringing that in and I know what's going on and where the files are coming from. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything off. We're gonna send everything we see over here. In fact, let's, we'll go ahead and send Patrick over and same thing with Patrick, we'll select him, go in here to his texture and just turn that off. And we're gonna send everything we see over here into Cinema 4D. Uh, 